everybody. Welcome back to Sticks and Stones. This is part two of carving a mountain man with just hand tools. Okay, we covered the first part in part one. We're working on this little guy right here. Uh, what we did, what I did was I took my gouge, just my big gouge here, my number eight, and just went around to start forming that hat. And we'll figure out what we want to do with this guy as we go. I'm not really going to put a neck on him. I'm just going to stick a quick necklace on him like that. And uh, maybe I'll paint him up and stick him on top of a walking stick or something when we're done. But uh, I do want to make a pipe for him, though. And we'll make him smoking a pipe. But we still got to do his eyes and stuff. There's not too much left to do. Hopefully. Uh, we'll complete that in this video. I'm sure we will. And I wanted to show you this right here is a cool little hedgehog that uh, Jeff Brewer sent me. He was the winner. He signed it and everything. Thanks a lot, Jeff. He had won the Dremel 4000, and this is the first carving that he did. Jeff Brewer, 2023, right? That he did with his new Dremel 4000 that he won in the Christmas contest. So that kind of just uh, confirms that he got it. So glad you're enjoying it, Jeff. Like to see more stuff from you. And thanks. I'll put them on the shelf, and that'll be one of the carvings that I've gotten sent to me. And I'll put it with... Uh, the rest are the little guys, and we'll make a nice little shelf and show off everybody's carvings. So, that's really cool. Thank you. Yeah, so I've been sitting there. If you guys are practicing with the knife and everything, one quick word. Get those little pieces of basswood if you can get them. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, we're, the stuff we're doing these little things out of. Remember the Native American we did? And a lot of times, to show you, we did do a couple of things on the channel, and... What I usually do after I make a YouTube video, like this right here is the quick wizard we did with a knife. And then once I'm done with the video, then I'll do a little bit more advanced stuff to it. And, and I'll clean it up and I'll make it uh, my own. But right now I'm trying to stick to beginner stuff. So what we might start doing when you guys get better is we'll do a beginner project. And then we'll take it to more of a higher level. I mean, I'm doing a lot of stuff like this. This right here is another one that we did on the other channel. He didn't look like this. When I was finished, I made them nice and simple, but then I added some stuff to them afterwards and everything. So now he looks like this. And that'll be a cool little keychain or something. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet. So to show you guys some, these little basswood pieces are fun. You can make whatever you want out of them. Okay. So you get to see some of the things we've been playing with, or I've been playing with anyway. What else do I have here? I have this guy. Just little faces and whittles, little quick wood spirits. All right, and these are all out of those little one-inch pieces, one-inch thick uh, pieces of basswood. So I got them all over the place. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with these. Maybe eventually we'll just have a little giveaway for a bunch of stuff. But uh, I like this guy, though. How cool is he? I'm going to paint him up and stick him on my dashboard. Something. I don't know. Okay, so we're getting back to this. This right here is our mountain man. This is where we're at, like I said, and we're about to give him some eyes. So, get your carving tools out, get your knife honed, and let's get started. All right, so to put eyes in this guy, what I want to do is take these eyebrows down a little bit, all right? So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come up here with my knife, and I'm just going to push straight down. I want to get these to go up a little bit more. All right, so I'm just going to push straight down like that. And then we'll come up and clear that out. That'll start raising it, all right? I don't want them that quite that thick. All right, I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm just going to push down. Just like that. Come up on the side and clean that out, all right? I'm going to watch my nose, so I'll clean it out. Turn it over like that. And I'm just trying to raise those eyebrows up just a little bit. Give me a little bit more room for the eyes. All right. And now I have a little bit more room there. And then I'm going to take the sharp edge off here. Kind of rounding that over. Real lightly with my knife. Same over here. We'll just round that over a little bit. All 
and that'll give us some room to start our eyes. All right, now we're going to come over here into the corner, all right? We're going to make a stop cut just like that, pretty deep in the corner, all right? Come over here, and I'm going to make another stop cut. Don't mind if you go up into this little part right here, all right? That'll just make them look more interesting that we can make that eye lid come down. And then we're going to try and take this chip out, just like that, Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing over here. Come up into the corner. We're going to make a V. Okay, one. Two, just like that. Same thing. And then we're going to pop that chip out. If we can. If we can't, I'll cut it again. Feels like it just doesn't want to come out yet. And we'll see if we can get that one out. Okay, now it might take a couple of cuts. Take your time. And try and get that chip out. So that way we can start forming some eyes in this guy. And we already have it deep in the corners on by the nose there. All right, now we're going to do the same on the other side. But before we do, let's take our gouge and make sure... We have some wood taken out here. All right. In this corner. Oh, don't worry about that over there. But I do want to have some marks over here. All right. I'm going to take some wood out here first and take some wood out at the end over here. Those eyebrows are going to get taken down more anyway, so don't worry. All right. So that way, it's going to be easy to start rounding everything off. And we're going to come over here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a cut there. Another cut there. I'm going to take that chip out. Okay. Just like that. Over here on this side. Same thing, we're gonna try and make it the same size. It's gonna go about here like this. Okay. One, two, pop the chip out. Now that will be easier to start rounding over, okay? Now I'm going to take my, uh, where's my veiner? I'm going to take a little veiner, okay? That's a very steep U, all right, when they're almost straight up. We're going to come over here, and we're going to start cutting in the bottom part of our eye, all right? Just like that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do the same over here. Right up into the corners that we cut. Deep by the corners of the nose there. And that's all we're going to do right there. Okay, now I'm going to remove some wood with a small gouge right underneath that. To give us more room and it'll start making that eye stand out. <laughs> okay. Same over here. Try and take some wood out. Stay clear of the eye you already cut. And give yourself some room. Now again, we're going to go back into the corner. Make another V cut. And another V cut. I'm going to pop that out. Alright. Because I want to establish these a little bit more. 
and I really want the shadow in the corners, and it's going to help us round off our eyeball, okay? Now he's got some good shadow there. We'll come back over to this side. We'll recut in our corner. One V cut there. Over here, we'll try to get that V established a little better. A little more shadow there. Now they're really starting to round. All right. And then we're going to try and round that just a little bit. So we can start forming that nice little mound for an eyeball. Now these are pretty small. So take your time. It's just a matter of trying to round everything over just ever so slightly. You don't have to kill it right now because we still have to put eyelids in here. Okay. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my small microvaner and I'm going to run an eyelid across. Now, we could do this with our knife or a V-tool. But since he's so small, I'm going to use this microvaner. <laughs> Just like that. And put an eyelid across. And do the same here. I don't know how good you can see that. <laughs> Just going across with one line. Okay. Now, you can reinforce that with your knife, or you can just make it to do it with your knife. You just kind of run your knife across, right? And then you shave up to that. Take a little bit of wood out from underneath it, right? And then round your eyeball down, right? Same here. Make a stop cut. If you don't have a veiner, and you're using your knife. I got a little bump there I'm trying to. You know, we'll have to take care of it a little bit. And take that wood out. Have to restop cut there. Pushing it up and underneath that eyelid you just cut. Okay. So, so now he's got two little slits for his eyes. He's got little bitty eyelids. And it is tough when they're this small, I know. But it's good practice. And sooner or later, you're going to have to learn it. So just practice with the tip of your knife and recut it if you mess up. Practice makes perfect. Okay. And we only need a little bit there. <laughs> <clears throat> because we can take care of that in the next step. I'm going to take my small V tool. And I'm going to cut a lower eyelid in. And because this is so small, I'm going to keep it pretty small. All right. I don't want to make this too big. Okay. And I might even just run that V tool across that eyelid again. If I didn't get it good enough with my knife. <laughs> okay. Now. I'm going to do the same thing with my knife. I'm going to cut. A little corner there. And try to pop that chip out on the inside. Okay, and then I'm going to round downward. <laughs> you know, it's hard to see that second cut, but you see that little eyelid right there? It is in there, okay? And now he's got a little eye mound in there. Same over here. 
going to try and take that little bitty chip out like that. You can see it better on this side. Cut this corner here. <laughs> take that out. All right. And then we're just going to round it downward. Like so. Now since this guy doesn't have too, too much, uh, you also want to go underneath your eyelid on the top, but. Kind of tough to see on this little guy here. All right. So you're trying to round those off ever so slightly. And they should be a little higher at the top. Okay. And you could leave him just like that. Because if we put holes in him, his eyes are so small, you're really not going to see much. Now I want to reestablish that a little bit. If I want to reestablish it, I can recut with my V tool. Okay. And then I'm going to put a couple of little lines underneath, like this, with my V tool. Just like that. Now, if I want that eyelid to stand out more on top, I can run the V tool across that. Just like that. All right. Now, I don't want to go into too much on this guy because he's so small. But taking the chips out in the corners. See right here in this corner and right here. Those two chips we put out actually look like pupils already. All right. I don't know if you can see that. You see how it looks like he's got a pupil here and a pupil there. That's from taking those corner cuts out. Okay. There's a little chip there. <clears throat> So, it's a matter of cleaning my lines up here, that's all. But that chip that we took out there will actually act as a pupil. Okay, if it's cut right and it's deep enough. And you won't have to worry about putting any iris holes in there. Okay. <laughs> or pupil holes. All right. Oh, they don't look bad. <clears throat> I'm going to take his eyebrows back a little bit more now. Just angling them back. Just like that. All right. He's got two eyes. We got his necklace in. This guy's almost done, except for a matter of cleaning him up. And just detail. Around the back, I could take that hair and go all the way around the back. I'll just round it off and up into his hat. But let's give him his eyebrows by just giving him some lines. With a small V tool. I'm using my micro vayner. Right, you could use a vayner or V tool. Up to you. <laughs> I'm come over here and do this side. I'm just going to run those down that eye ridge. Just like that. All right. Now, if he's got a little bit of little dig marks or whatever, you can hit it with a little bit of 220. You don't need too much. Okay. Right. You got any? Knife carvers out there, they're going to tell you you're cheating and whatever. 
Don't worry about it. Clean them up. Like I said, almost uh, with hand tools, almost every cut is it should be pretty much a finished cut for the most part. <laughs> Just if you are going to work on them more after you do sand it a little bit, I recommend getting a brush because that will dull your tools in a second, running your knife or a gouge through that. So make sure you get something that you can get the grit from the sandpaper off your carving before you uh, continue on. All right. Now, he just needs a couple of... Uh, we could mess with his nose here, but I kind of like him simple like this. All right. That's probably all we're going to do to finish him up. I did put his necklace on. I can clean this out. A little bit more I could gouge around you know there's all kinds of things I could do if I want to make a really nice necklace on this guy uh, I would cut a neck in but I'm not gonna do that for this video I think it's been plenty long all right and I think I'll just stain him up clean him a little bit more in spots and we'll call this carving done and I'll stick him on top of a walking stick or something. I could add some more detail if I want. I could give him, like I said, maybe a secondary smile line or two coming up to his nose. Okay. With my V tool. I mean, it. Uh, I could use the gouge for that, actually. It would work a lot nicer, but... And you can give him some crow's feet over here if you wanted. All right. So any little extra detail you want to add to him, you can. You can give him extra mustache hair or whatever. But uh, he should be sufficient for this tutorial. And I hope you learned something. And had some fun. And what we're going to do next... Is figure out... What we're going to make in our next video... With hand tools. And we'll start improving your knife skills, and your skills with gouges and chisels, and we'll see uh, what project we're going to do next. I'm not quite sure yet. Might try another Indian, and we'll try to start working uh, a little bit more on lips and stuff like that for you guys. Okay, so this is our little Native, uh, yeah, Native American. This is our little mountain man. He's got a little hat. I could put fur on his hat, too. Let me just quick show you something like that. If I have the little, even my big manor, or B-tool, just even using a V-tool or a gouge or a vayner, you could do texturing with that, okay, if you wanted. Just for a little bit more detail. And like I said, or wherever you uh, put detail, it just makes them more interesting. You don't have to go crazy. Sometimes just a little makes a big difference. Okay. Take off any sharp edges around your carving. That always helps. And anywhere you want to add extra detail. Play with it. Go around and see uh, whatever version you come up with. And we'll start using our Dremel to do some of this stuff, too, because I know a lot of you guys are Dremel carvers and you're missing some of the Dremel carvings. <clears throat> okay? So that's what we come up with there for this video. And in the next one, we'll try and keep going and add a little more detail on uh, maybe another wood spirit or Native American. But, oh, that's what I wanted to do. I forgot. we got to give this guy a pipe. Yeah, so I think we're going to add a pipe to this, and then this guy will be pretty much finished. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I got myself a piece of cottonwood bark here. It's just a little sliver. It's not that thick. And I drew a pipe on here. This just here is a stop point, because that's all the longer I want it. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carve this thing out. I'm going to follow all my lines... And I'm going to cut this thing out and we'll shape it down 
And we'll make ourselves a nice little pipe for our little mountain man, okay? Now, I usually just cut them on the bandsaw, but my bandsaw right now, I have a broken blade and I have a blade ordered and it's not here yet. So this is just going to have to get quick cut, carved with the knife, which is no biggie, you know, but uh, just kind of small and nothing we can't do by hand though. It's only cottonwood bark. Okay. I'm not really teaching the knife carving part. I'm just kind of trying to get to the point where I could get this piece to break off here so I can make a quick knife. I mean, pipe. So I'm just going to go around that line a little bit and some small V cuts, cut it in half, and then we'll quick shape it and see if we can fit it in his mouth. That should be long enough there. A couple more on this side. I should be able to break that right off. Okay. So now it's just a matter of whittling that part down. All right. You want to talk about stuff hard to hold. <laughs> Watch your fingers. Make sure you're wearing your glove. And all I'm doing is just shaping this little piece into a pipe. Just nothing fancy. Like I said, just draw your outline of a quick little pipe on there. You don't have to be a super artist for this. <clears throat> See how I'm just following what I put on the wood. Taking it down. A lot of times I use a sanding drum for this also. And just shape a pipe quick, you know. Biggest thing is getting this pipe to go small enough at the end so it'll fit in that hole in his mouth that we put. And I might even have to take a drill bit and drill a hole so the pipe goes in. So I like to make the pipe a little pointier at the tip here so I can just stick it in his mouth and it'll, it'll stay in there. So I'm going to round it off. Little as we go. And as long as it looks like a pipe. And because he's a wood spirit, it doesn't have to be a perfect pipe. I mean, it's a pipe made out of other trees or a wooden branch, whatever. All right. So probably up here, I guess. I'd have to shape that in just a little more. You could carve long, fancy ones. But it's just a little, a little neat idea to add to your carving. Uh, especially if you have like a mountain man. Or you're doing caricatures and you want them to have, you know, a pipe or a cigar or something. It's always good to add a little accessories. Kind of fun. All right. Right there, he's starting to round off. Biggest thing is to do it without snapping it because it gets so small. All right. And making sure that, again, this part down here is going to be thin enough to hang in his mouth. All right. Now you can also, where is it? I could take my gouge, all right, and just carve out the inside a little bit. This gouge might be a little bit big. Maybe I'll get my smaller gouge before I break the whole thing in my hand, okay? And you just, Carve it out a little bit so you can get that effect that it is a pipe, you know. I mean, you can get real fancy here with the Dremel and make a really nice pipe. Or with your hand tools. You don't need the Dremel, but 
just trying to give you guys the idea. And then you can round everything off as you want. <clears throat> a lot of times I'll make this really deep and then what I would do is fill it with wood chips and glue if I painted the pipe, you know. And then you take some of your shavings for your cottonwood bark and, you know, the smaller ones and you'd put like some tobacco in there. And then, you know, your pipe's a different color. But say if we're going to do a pipe for this guy, it might have to make that come down a little bit more. <clears throat> and I'm going to have to get a hole in his mouth. So it's still a little big for him. So I might have to shorten this pipe. It also needs to be rounded. I wasn't really going to show the whole carving process of the pipe because that's going to take a little bit to whittle it down and fit it, but I want you guys to have the idea. And if it's too long, I'm definitely going to have to shorten the stem of the pipe too. You can run your VTOL around the top edge of the pipe too to, to set that in. You know. To shape the inside of it. I don't know if I don't even know if I'm in the camera. This is so small. I'm actually trying to just focus on not breaking it. <laughs> okay, so you get the idea there. And then again, scooping it out with uh Your smaller tools, <laughs> not a V tool like I just did, but and that's how it start forming and shaping a pipe until you get it the way you want it. All right. Sometimes you have to put a hook on it because when you're holding this guy up and that pipe goes in, all right, you would want it to hook his lip and just kind of hang down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put a hole in here. with my gouge so we can actually get that pipe to fit in okay which means this has got to be a lot deeper and i might have to dig that out pretty good you know to get that pipe to stick out and or stay in his mouth Oops, oops. No, I just dropped it. Well, that right there was sticking in. Hold on. Thought I thought I had dropped that on the floor, and here I just fell right in front of me. So here he has a pipe, right? So now we have a little mountain man who's got a pipe. Now, I would make this hang down a little bit more. I would drill the hole so it, it actually hangs down a little bit more. And I would round the pipe off. Okay, might be a little big for him. Because I would like this to actually just kind of hook his lip and hang down i don't like it sticking straight out like that all right but that right there is what we came up with we have a little mountain man his pipe's a little too big for him what i'm going to do is whittle this down and i'll paint him up and stuff and make sure that pipe goes in the way i want might even shorten it because it's a little too big okay and that'll be the project for today. Yeah, he might look a little better with a, a smaller one. Okay. So we have a pipe smoking wood spirit here. <laughs> of course, I'll have to make a better pipe. All right. And we'll get it to stick in. Drilling, sometimes I drill a hole going up like this. And then you can actually stick the pipe in so it hangs like that, which is how it's supposed to hang. Okay. It's more like that, kind of going down at an angle. Still a little big for this little tiny mountain man, but he can put his tobacco in it, and he can go out, sit by the fire, eat his moose, whatever he's doing. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this today's carving. I hope you enjoyed it. Get back to you in the next one, and we'll see what we make next. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye now. Oh,